<laughs> well, I think we, we, we promised before the Second Avenue subway, and I feel <laughs> you know, fairly certain that we'll, we'll make that mark. But as far as like when we're gonna open, I, I don't know. Um, we're hoping for November, but I've been telling people like Evie Green, you know, four months ago, four months before that, six months before that. So we're hoping for November. I hope we can pull that off. We're not, we're not really looking to make any major changes. Um, you know, we believe we have a, a great classic New York City bagel. So we have a solid foundation and we don't want to mess with that. Um, and we, I really love the atmosphere of, of Avenue A. When I opened Avenue A, I had a goal. I, want, I was setting out to create kind of like this sort of place that I grew up with where you had a place that everybody could come. You know, the, the policemen, the teacher, the kids in the neighborhood, the moms, you know, the postman. And you just have everybody, the neighborhood, just kind of mingling. And we have that at Avenue A. We have all sorts and all types, and it is, it's just, it's wonderful. And, you know, I was trying to create the same thing here. Uh, I have an artist that, we, we sell her work over at Avenue A. Her name is Edie. Um, I met her, like, probably four or five years before I opened Tompkins Square Bagels. I, I loved her stuff. When I was building Tompkins Square Bagels, um, one of my goals was to have it feel like one of Edie's paintings. And, you know, just that kind of like happy, magical, you know, place. So um, we wound up helping her sell a lot of pictures over at Avenue A. And uh, when it came, people, people love her stuff. It has a very New York feeling, which is what I'm always going for. So uh, we brought her in this time, and I just basically said, do whatever you want, you know, do some, do some murals for us. So she did some really beautiful uh, New York City landscape murals of the Brooklyn Bridge, the New York City skyline, um, Chrysler Building, water towers, you know. And if you look at it like closely, there's a lot of detail going on. There, you know, little I love New York cups and uh, bagels floating around. Just in the in the spirit of keeping the guests comfort in mind, you know, for crowd control and days where we have those big double lines. Um, you know, you don't want people sitting on a stool and kicking back when you have uh, two lines of guests waiting for food. So instead of the big bar stools that we have over there, we, we built them in, they swing in and out. We can lock them. Um, even if we, if we want to, we can just take them right out. Pull skylights here. So, um, you know, I figured, hey, if people are gonna be standing back here, if I'm lucky enough to get another crowd like that, you know, nice sunny day, we'll get some light. The only thing we might kind of change up a little bit, um, because this is sort of like, you know, uh, uh, known as Little Ukraine, and uh, I feel like there is a bit, bit more of a New York vibe here than maybe down towards Avenue A where I have more college kids and, and a little more gentrification. Um, you know, we might try to throw some old New York classics, like things like Knishes and Blintzes and um, Bialis and stuff like that. Maybe we, we couldn't pull it off at Avenue A, but maybe here at Second Avenue we can. <laughs> 